In this video, I'm going to show you how to add multiple overlays. So once you have the photo up that you want to use as your background, go ahead and go up to Edit and choose Overlay. And we're going to choose our first overlay. So we have several different ones here. We've got Light Leak and Grunge, Scratch, and Lens Flare. And you can scroll through those. Uh, at your own leisure. I'm not going to do that in this video. I'm going to choose grunge and I'm going to click this overlay and then I'm going to go up here and choose go back to the menu. Do you want to save your changes in a temporary file? Say yes and if we go to the layers we will see there is the overlay. So let's go ahead and add another one. So let's go back to edit and choose overlay. And I'm going to choose another grunge overlay. So I'm going to choose this one. Go back to the menu and say yes. So I'm only going to grab those two overlays and then let's go to the layers. Okay, so first thing we want to do is delete these overlays from her face. And I'm going to delete them one at a time. We could if we wanted to, if you just hit uh, click and shift and then click merge layer, it'll merge these two layers and it would allow you to delete everything from her face and body at the same time. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to do them individually. So I'm going to make sure that this layer, this overlay is turned off so that we can work on this layer and delete just this layer from her face. Because if I leave this one on, and then start deleting, I'll show you. So we want to go up to the eraser tool. And I want my brush. And it's a good brush size. If we start deleting the grunge, the first grunge, you can still see the second grunge overlay underneath. So let's turn that off. There. So we can see that we've removed that first, we're removing the first grunge overlay. Oh, I'm just doing a real quick job here for this video. So that looks good. And now let's turn the second overlay on and delete that one. Let's have to make sure that you're on it. I clicked it, but then I didn't go on it. So start deleting that. So if you, if you ever find yourself, you're over here and you're making changes and nothing's happening, just do a quick check and make sure you have the correct uh, layer highlighted. And there, I think that looks good. And if you like that, then go ahead and either export or save selected photo. If you choose save selected photo as, it'll save the file as a PHI file and that will allow you to uh, continue editing. It'll keep all the layers intact. And if you were to export it, it doesn't do that. It'll just save it as a PNG file or however you have it set up. I have mine to save as PNG. So that's it. You could continue to add more overlays. You would just click the edit button, how I, the way I showed you earlier, and just keep doing that same process until you've added all the overlays that you want to add. And that's it. Um, I hope you like this video.